welcome to Charts and Hearts. I'm Sarah, and she's Lindsay. And together, we're working our way through an epic list of rom-coms in order to find and categorize tropes in the hopes of creating the nerdiest spreadsheet podcast I've ever seen. Today, it's Christmas! We're doing a movie called A Castle for Christmas. Christmas in the castle, as I have said many times. Mm-hmm. Many, many times. And a test, because yes. I just edited the last episode this morning. Mm. Said it like four times. Wrong movie. Good job. That I don't even know what Christmas sense. in the castle is, but this is Castle for Christmas, the one with Brooke Shields and Carrie Elways. The man who spurred this entire podcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. we're like, how can we do more movies like Princess Bride? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then this podcast happened. Um, yep. Yeah, it came out on Netflix last, last year. year, and yeah. I watched it too many times last year. <laughs> <laughs> I think I must have watched it halfway, because when I turned last year, because I wanted oh. to go watch it today, it was halfway through, and I was like, I definitely mm-hmm. watched half of this, and then nice. did stopped at some point. So Yeah, I definitely watched it once, like all the way through, and then watched it like probably over two baths or something last winter as mm-hmm. well. Um, yeah. It's... Cheesy and terrible and amazing. Yeah. And it's just how I like my Netflix Christmas movies. Basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. And full of ridiculous, amazing tropes. It's better than a lot of other ones I've watched. So, oh, yeah. That? So, the setup, if you don't know, it's oddly similar to The Lost City with Sandra Bullock. Uh, I guess somebody watched Romancing the Stone and was like, I'm going to make a movie about that. And then the other person who was watching <laughs> the movie with them was like, Me too. Uh, right and then they made basically. different but similar movies yes <laughs> except yeah so they're both authors whose husbands well one died and one divorced them yeah um but they're like coming to the end of their series of the books that they've been writing and they need to have a change in their life and find love um the, the other really random um similarity is that they both have black agents which is kind of strange oh yeah like the yeah their agents are women of color or people of color yeah yes Mm -hmm. yeah sorry when you Uh, wrote black agent i was like is that like like a like a spy (laughs) no (laughs) i knew what i meant that's why i said it yes they're women of color um so it was just weird because i was like already writing it down i'm like this is like the lost city then i looked up i'm like that's strange that's a weird (laughs) i haven't seen that movie yet but it's on the list oh my gosh you're gonna love it Anyway, we'll get to it when we get to it. It's on the list somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, this movie, she has to go to, she doesn't have to go to Scotland. She goes to Scotland because she's inspired about her father's something, something. I don't know. She does a lot of wistful voiceovers to herself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, her father grew up like in the grounds of this castle called Dun Dunbar and then moved to America when he was a kid. Um, Mm -hmm like nine or something and so she's always like sort of romanticized going back and like learning where her family came from and she wants to run away because she writes this like incredibly popular romance series and then in her latest book it's like book 12 or something kills the love interest and Mm -hmm. everybody in america including drew barrymore hates her (laughs) yeah and like Yeah, I don't really hate authors. Yeah. Um, but I would I'd be pretty pissed. I'd be pretty pissed. Yeah. I do think so I think Drew Barrymore got kind of done a little bit dirty in this. Like I've watched mm-hmm. I've never watched like full episodes of her talk show, but I've watched clips on YouTube and she's like an actually good, interesting interviewer. So like I yeah. think she would have done a better job than like antagonize her guest. <laughs> like Yeah, it's weird because like at the end there's a lot of cut goof scenes with yeah. the two of them. So I think they're just friends which is cool like I'm yeah 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 no it's great um, and it was i think a, yeah it was weird i think they definitely wrote it to be fake drew barrymore who is less good at interviewing people. yes and also like it was when her talk show was new so it was definitely like promo mm-hmm. for her talk like yeah. drew barrymore has a yeah. talk show yes she does it's yeah. fine <laughs> yeah it's it's better than you would expect yes not that there's anything wrong with drew barrymore but it's just it's one of those talk shows that everybody has so yeah no but it's actually good i don't know she like had her ex justin long on and they like yeah yeah, it was really good 
Yeah, I watched that clip and it was very emotional. Yeah, they like, you know, had still like fond feelings for each other, even though they're not like, haven't been for a long time romantically together and like their lives diverged pretty drastically and they weren't like ready for each other. But that doesn't mean that they don't like appreciate each other and like have mm-hmm. things to say. And it was like interesting to do it on TV. Um, Yeah. Anyways, sidetrack. So she goes to Scotland and yeah. she goes to the castle and it's very magical and she finds the uh, initials that her father carved into a door. Yeah. Um, And she meets this handyman who's so rough and mean and oh my god, he's actually the Duke. Yeah. But she doesn't find that out until she decides that she wants to buy the castle, which I guess she can because she's the rich author. Yeah. So yeah, so she she offers to buy the house and he's like, oh, you have to live here so you know what you're getting into and makes this like crazy escrow thing, which I don't think they have escrow in the States. Oh, sorry. I don't think they have escrow in the UK. I, I think it's an American thing. But anyways, American movie. Who knows? Real estate's confusing. Um, yeah. And then, oh no, they're living in the same house and she accidentally barges in on him while he's having a bath. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all sorts of things. Yes, many things. And then they throw a Christmas party for the villagers. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And then they fall in love and the end. Yeah. Of course, there's a fight yes. and what a, and dresses and. Oh, all yeah. Sorts of things. Yeah. Like she, yeah, they have a fight and she like tries to go fly home and then there's a snowstorm so she can't and then she stays and then it's yep. very quickly resolved. It's like. Yes, barely a conflict <laughs> well like also that day christmas eve mm. I, mm-hmm. so many things ha- like it's one of it's the longest day that's oh yeah happened. like they get up and have a fight yes she decides to leave she packs she goes and talks to her friends she somehow gets a flight she's yeah. got a hotel room for even though she's leaving that day then she gets in the cab then she goes back she's in the hotel room crying then yeah he, at some point he's in his bed reading a book it's still the middle of the day and there was a ball that night. Oh, yeah. of course. And then he... they have this fight, they also dance like all morning. They learn their dances. Oh, yeah. It's like so many things that happen in the one day, which I don't understand it's, why. It's a little bit nuts. And then is that also that he comes with he comes and picks her up with the horses? With the horses. Yeah. yeah to take her to the ball. Yeah. yeah. It's all all happens all in, in one day. Whatever. 18 hours or something. Yeah, it's nuts. And then they have a massive party and her daughter from the States comes and surprises her instead of going to her dad's wedding. Yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, like the movie takes place over six months, but all of the action happens in one day, I guess, because it's Christmas Eve. Oh, is that six months? I thought it was six weeks. No, six months. 90 days. That's what it is. Oh, 30, three months. Okay. Three months. Okay. Um, yeah, three months. So well, then okay, then that makes my first observation that I had because about traveling traveling by, by bike. bike. So yeah. she's she stays at the pub in the village when she first arrives, like in the sort of pub B and B, um, and doesn't have a rental car. She just ha- she like rides her bike to the ho- to the thing, and I thought it was like six weeks before Christmas, and I was like, that is um, more adventurous than you should be, like <laughs> counting on bike transportation in Scotland in november basically at this time no i think it's september yeah okay that makes a little more sense yes yeah yes yes um so anyway so when she moves into the castle he Mm -hmm. doesn't heat the top floor and yeah and he makes her stay in the top floor rather than there's like other floors that are modernized yeah yeah um and she's does some very bad cold acting and puts on all her clothes but Mm -hmm. she still has like her entire uh, decolletage bear because she doesn't know how to put a scarf on properly and all of her clothes exactly are even though like low cut it's not like she's from LA she's from New York like yeah, like, yeah. so she know she know how to wear a scarf <sighs> or like have a sweater that goes up to her neck like, yeah yeah like, just get a uh, or like hoodie. a toque <laughs> <laughs> yeah a winter hat so yeah that part's incredibly frustrating to me as a person who is cold in her house all the time and is wearing a hoodie like her, my neck is protected yes as you do indeed indeed um yeah so she yeah so she starts out at this pub and like immediately meets this sort of like knitting group of people and it's sort of all ages um they all just like hang out in the pub and knit and like one of them works for the inn and one of them's a baker and everybody else doesn't really matter but yeah it's like a little knitting group that she meets right away and i'm like can i knit in a pub Mm -hmm. let's go (laughs) 
Yeah. Um, and actually, on the knitting front, so if you don't know, I'm a pretty avid knitter. Uh, I knit a lot um, and a lot of different things. And I don't know about everybody knitting, but the old lady who was knitting was knitting on like a really old fashioned way, like knitting a sweater on long double pointed needles, which is like very traditional and pretty accurate mm -hmm. for like somebody in Scotland. Whereas like if I was making a sweater, I would knit it on like a cable needle. So it's like a flexible cable with two needles at the end, like a pointy mm -hmm. needle at each end. Um, but like before those were invented, traditional sweaters, if they were knit, not flat, like if they were knit in one piece, they would be knit with like long double pointed needles that are like 12 inches long or 10 inches long or something um yeah and she was knitting that way so I th was impressed with that and yeah they were all actually like at least putting needles into stitches and throwing yarn over mm -hmm. needles like oh it yeah, yeah they weren't just like waving them around randomly in their laps like I've seen in yeah. lots of fake knitting yeah, yeah yeah so they were knitting like what the result was is TV yeah TV, no they weren't but... necessarily knitting what they had in their laps but they were knitting yeah. yes and it wasn't necessarily was good knitting but no but it was still better knitting. than not knitting at all um yes the other observation that i have from that pub scene is the baker girl brings over like a plate of cookies and stuff and she brings in this shortbread that is like the most giant thick huge uh, piece of shortbread i've ever mm -hmm. seen it's like the size of like an egg salad like a quarter yeah. of an egg salad sandwich it looks like a scone like the yes. little the little scones you get at the at starbucks the no ones. it was bigger than that it was no it was bigger than that but like if that's like the height of it oh yeah it was, it was that was high so thick yeah but so yeah, thick bigger, and like so huge sandwich. i'm just like oh that would be so dry and crumbly it's so gross gross no like it's shortbread is not shortbread. bread it should be like a little tiny cookie oh man so gross <laughs> <laughs> um, yes uh and yeah no i definitely didn't spend parts of this movie looking up various bed no. and breakfasts and pub inns no. in rural scotland <laughs> no never definitely didn't find one where that one of the reviews said that y you might see dolphins from oh my god i know right <laughs> so, yeah. we're going to scotland yep 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 well we have very important research because at one point they sing and dance in this pub and like mm -hmm. I know that like people play music in pubs, that's great. But like, do yep. they actually dance around to Old Lang Syne in like November in a pub? No, I don't think so. Like I hope not, because I don't want to. In 2021, no. no. Yeah. Like I'm down for like actual singing and dancing if the mood so strikes yeah. you. But this was like this was like campfire sing along. Yeah, it was Old Lang Syne. It was it was bad. But we need to go and find out if our yes we assumptions do. are correct. Back. We will, important for we will let you know. The integrity of this podcast. Indeed. <laughs> um, speaking of integrity, the, mm. so her, all of her knitter friends come and add like fabric and give her like shelves and stuff to this yes. bedroom. And then all of a sudden she can wear silk pajamas and it's not cold anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a it's a castle. So it's like, you know, concrete, cement, stones, damp, and it's not heated and it's December. Yeah, so like, how is it getting heated other than just her body heat? Because like, yes, they maybe yeah. keep the keep it from getting colder. Keep the heat in, but it's just yeah, yeah. Like they didn't bring up like a portable heater or anything. I don't know. There's electricity up there because their laptops there. And she has lights, yeah. so they could have had a portable heater. Like, yeah, exactly. Bring her a space heater, you. Um, or like, like a yeah, an no, electric blanket, silk pajamas, and like again, decolletage completely bare and like. It's so cold. Like my face is so cold sometimes in my old bedroom. Like yeah. you can't wear silk pajamas. Silk pajamas are cold. <laughs> right? But yes, it was very important that Brooke Shields Brooke Shields show off her decolletage. But then she finds Carrie Elways' bathtub and yep. I mean it's a sexy scene, but also like major bathtub envy. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. It was the so giant and deep. And then it had yep you know, uh, one of those like shelf things, which I have and they're the best. Um, but also it had Car Carrie Elways and whiskey, which like I could learn to like whiskey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if it's required for that setting. Mm -hmm. Yep. I would be okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there's like some weird plot stuff about like her, like him feeling like she's forcing him out, but it's really, all mm -hmm. it's mostly just like he's crotchety and doesn't want to admit that he has, he caught feelings for her. Yeah, and like in that whole thing with the fight of like if you guys just talked to each other, 
yeah. again. Like, actually talk. And she was like, you should stay. And he gets mad. He's yeah. Like, oh, you want me to stay in the house that I used to own? And I'm like, why don't you just stop and yeah. have a conversation? Because, like, what is your solution? You are together now. And she's, like, you signed the contract also. So, like, this escrow ends in, like, two days. And then she's the owner of this castle. So what is your solution? Like, you're mad about it, but it's not her yeah. fault. Well, yeah, so, like, like, you sold her the castle, and then she's inviting you to stay, and you think it's, like, to be her roommate? But, like, if you just had, like, shared that you had feelings for each other, yeah, it's like, no, stay, and we're married, so... Stay, and we'll be together. Yeah, or, like, we'll we can get... Live here. Yeah, we can both live like, here together. I mean, yes, it's a new relationship, and that's maybe not the most, like, secure living situation for him, but, no. like, also living but... in a giant house that you can't afford to maintain... Mm-hmm. also not, not secure a living situation yeah and like if you're going to be with her regardless of where you live she obviously has more money than you so that's going to be a problem if you have a problem like that yes like, exactly title but she's super rich so. yeah but also like he if he wasn't having to fuss with like maintaining the house oh, like he true. could have a career yeah because yeah. yeah, all that money he was saving was for the land also so like he yeah. had money yeah so he had money but he was yeah, he was trying to do the right thing and, like, not have to raise the rents for his tenants, which are basically, like, all the villagers. But she says, like, she'll pay. Yeah. Like, all the like basically yeah. pay for the mortgage. Like, basically, instead of them renting land, they can, like, own land from, like, for themselves. Mm-hmm. And then he could also, like, if he wasn't having to, like, shill out the castle as a wedding venue, he's, like, an environmental engineer. He could, like, have a job that he enjoys yeah. and not mm-hmm. a tour guide yeah. and handyman. Yeah. 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 Lots of things they could do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Or if he's okay with it, they could just live in the house. The yeah, exactly. He can fix and they can he hire. And they, he can take a vacation. Like exactly. Yeah. Lots of options. If yeah. I was going to marry a author who's super rich and bought me a castle, I'd be okay with it. I would. Yeah, I would definitely take a holiday at the beginning, and yeah, then f- exactly. to at least figure out what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. And then be like, and that, and be like, maybe I'm going to go do some stuff because. I can't lie around in this bathtub all day for the rest of my life. No, like once a week. Like a year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then once a week for for the rest of time. In, yes. Yeah. But I yeah. can fill the time with all yep, yep. Um. Oh, <laughs> and he also has a dog. Oh, mm-hmm. And I think the dog is like my ideal dog. It's like a scruffy, wire-haired, sort of medium-sized, yeah. muttish kind of dog. It's really yeah. cute. And is very matchmaking. <laughs> oh yeah, that dog wants them to get together. Uh huh. The dog ships it real hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and so there's some really really cheesy parts. There's a Ugh. very long scene of her twirling in the snow, and I was like, why? Why? Yeah, it's so long. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like five minutes. Yeah. And it. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. It's like, look, it's winter. Or look, we, we paid a lot of money for fake snow, so let's use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And then some random, like, Netflix Christmas people from, like, is it, they're from the fr- Princess Switch? They, like, it's just, like, this random Yeah, I don't couple. remember them from the Princess Switch, but I haven't watched Princess Switch in a while, so. This, like, random couple checks in at the pub and, like, mm-hmm. gets, like, a huge scene, but, like, for no reason like they have no, no it's like towards the end of the movie they have no tie into the plot they don't really have any lines other than that it's very strange yeah it's the um netflix christmas cinematic universe is what I yeah call it. but, but like, i just watched for no reason no no i just watched um uh, night before christmas uh-huh. classic great movie. oh yep and all they do is like they pull out this like giant pine cone ornament and they're like your grandparents got this when they were in Blah blah blah, fake country where oh, princess, the princess which happens? Christmas, yeah. Christmas prince, no Christmas prince. Oh, Christmas prince, yeah. Where Christmas prince takes place, and that's all it is. And then like they have Netflix on in the background and showing. Yeah, see, like that's movie. fine. This like, was that, just that makes way more sense. Like, this one, I was like, are these people important? Is something else gonna happen? Yeah, like, like is it is it his like long lost like the other heir to the title or something? And he's not allowed yeah. to sell the. He's not allowed to sell the house. Yeah, like, something. No, nope. is it her ex-husband? Like, yeah, I thought for a second it was yeah. her ex-husband, and then no, I was it's also just, confused. They just check into the pub, <laughs> vaguely familiar. 
from yeah. the Princess Switch, but like I don't even remember yeah. who he is in that. So I was just like, who's this guy? And why, I mean, why? I feel like between this scene and like the dancing in the snow, like the movie was like 20 minutes too short for what they wanted because there's not a lot of plot. Yeah. <laughs> so they were like, eh. I think so. Let's extend this a little longer. Yeah. I'm like, but why don't you extend this, the part where Carrie Elwes is in the bathtub? Right. Or like, like have like a an actually interesting conflict. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Like you, yeah, you can make I mean, the plot better, but yeah, but <laughs> that's hard. Hold out too much hope. <laughs> no, exactly. Um, yes. Um, so then they have the spectacular Christmas party, which like everything saves the day. Oh yeah. Um, and they do their crazy dance, and mm-hmm. oh, and then the old guy from from the knit club. From the knitting group, uh, he comes and he has his beard is all decorated with baubles and he's so yep. cute. It's really adorable. Uh, but then there's like really weird music. <laughs> oh no, sorry. The weird music is when they're like in their fight for I don't know, like an hour, and we hear like yeah a weird Robbie Williams song. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, a I very strange mix of, and then like a lot of Kelly Clarkson's Christmas album, which I'm fine with, but it just seems like. Yeah. Like more than you would expect for a movie that Kelly Clarkson isn't in. And also yeah. Kelly Clarkson has a to- daytime talk show. So why didn't they just get her if they're so Kelly Clarkson focused? Like, right? Like, it's weird. Yeah. And also like they're in Scotland. Like, why couldn't you have like Scottish? Yeah. S- like Scottish actually like songs? good Scottish traditional music or like yeah. is Robbie Williams Scottish? Maybe why Robbie Williams is Scottish. A baby? He I don't is know. from the UK. Yes. He's. I don't think he's Scottish. I'm pretty sure he's British, but I could be entirely wrong on that. And I apologies have no idea. to Robbie Williams, because calling somebody who's Scottish British is like yeah, the biggest really insult. That's why um, I'm just staying clear. But like from the UK. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's so weird. Um anyways, I feel like we've ranted a lot about this movie <laughs> that I really do love. <laughs> but it's also not good. Like it's a good movie to mm-hmm. put on and watch the good bits and then like, you know, make dinner or something during the other bits. Answer some emails. Mm-hmm. 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 Anyways. Um, Black Friday shopping. Research pubs and inns in <laughs> rural Scotland. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> anyway, should we share some of the tropes? Because there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah. So my favorite one, of course, is the working man uh, who the protagonist meets and is he's rude to her, but he's secretly the duke. Yes. Um, and or prince which is a thing that happens and or rich businessman yeah yeah just yeah. all the time um it's definitely enemies to lovers for sure oh, yeah. but like it's pretty easily resolved like oh they like brush it against each other as she's coming down the stairs and then they're making out like <laughs> it doesn't take much for them to to realize that they don't actually hate each other <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 and then and that's a trope also always mm-hmm. ending up very close to one another randomly like they actually they don't actually fall on top of each other no um, they don't which is surprising especially because it's like there's horses and bicycles with them, and like so a dog to trip over yeah. yeah um but they do like spin around a lot and they're like walking and then they like get confused and then they're like whoa they're so close to each other yeah are they gonna kiss no it's too awkward yeah yeah, a lot of that for sure. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, the dog, and also their sneaky friends doing secret things yeah. to set them up. <laughs> yeah. So much, so much sneakiness. Yeah. Oh, and then like the, like under the window romantic moment, very much. Oh, like, right, right, right. Romeo yeah. and Juliet. Her up. Slash. What's the West one? Wing. Yep, West Wing. What's the one with the boombox and the, Say like anything. that '80s movie? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um. Lots of things. Yeah, basically every movie ever. Um, yeah. yeah. And romantic the, yeah, moment. And the throwing of the snowball. Also. Yeah, throwing snowballs at the window. Yep. Yeah, like lots of them are referencing Say Anything, and then lots of them are referencing Romeo and Juliet yeah. more directly. But still. This was kind of mm-hmm. both. Yeah. Yeah. Friends of the main character, um, like, they, I think they fall in love? I don't know. Like, the. They like, get back They together, get back together. Or... Like, the, the friend who is the lady who works at the pub Maisie and then the guy who's like the tour guide and like buddy who works at the oh, property he's like he's the great. butler I don't know um they I think like dated in high school and then kind of get back together and or like dance at the party at least yeah that's nice oh mm-hmm. yeah and then so 
the and the side character with the trauma, who's mm. the old guy with the bubbles, is oh, yeah. fixed by the protagonist coming into his life. She doesn't do anything. No, just like, like her joy. She doesn't joy. talk to him. She doesn't yeah. talk her him through her trauma. They have very little interaction, but because yeah. she's there, his problems are solved. Indeed. Although she it could just be dead. time and she just happens to be I know, there. it could also Which be I, time. But yeah. it's just like yeah, but yeah, it's very much a trope of like, oh, she just yeah, brings like the first joy. the first words he says are to her. Yes, so if it was time. It would probably yeah. be somebody else. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I'm fine. He was great, and I'm glad that he got better. Indeed, yeah, he was very sweet. Okay, do you think it passed the Vectel test? Yeah, yeah, because there's knitting in this. Yeah, knitting and um, the one of the women in the knitting group like talks about her bakery plans. Mm-hmm and Talk yeah like her books. her novel like her career of noveling like not not even like because i think if you talked about her like debating about the plot of the romance books maybe that wouldn't mm. be a pass but like her talking about her career as a writer is a pass yeah. so yeah yeah and she also talks about talks to her daughter about all sort of, about her dad mm-hmm. and their family history and yeah 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 and as well as men like they talk about her ex-husband yeah. but they do talk about like yeah. Moving and, mm-hmm. yeah 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 so did pretty well good job yeah and also yeah like her and drew barrymore talk about her books yeah oh good times pie. Mm, yay pie scottish pie mm, scottish pie has okay. meat in it i think but oh, that's yeah. okay cheese and potato pie i don't know sure. <laughs> we'll, delicious we'll find out on our research trip <laughs> yes the first one is obviously knitting because there's a lot of knitting yes in this, which i'm cool with Yes. Knitting, I'm going to say like 10% mm-hmm. really have a plot. Like it could be anything, but no, it just happens it to be knitting. it could have been anything. Yeah. 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 Could have been a book club. Yeah. Um, Carrie Always Swoon, really big part of my life. I feel yes. like the first time you see him in yeah. this, he's like fixing things and he's leaning over and his hair is brushed and he looks up and I'm like, they yeah. did that hairstyle on purpose to be oh, yeah. exactly the, the, the same swoopy same hair. Princess Bride. Yep. It is the exact same. And I... Okay. I'm very much here for it. Yeah. I'm going to go with like 50. Yep. I feel like that's what I was going to say. Basically a that's huge amount of this movie. movie. Yeah, a huge amount of this movie is the charm and like nostalgia of Carrie Always. Um Yeah, and like his accent is dubious. Um, yeah, I don't know if his accent also, is good, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care and I really enjoy like it's one of those things of like I didn't I don't watch a lot of the movies that he's in, which is I'm just yeah. trying not to say this, but I can't not because it's from The Office. Mm. Um, did you see Saw? Of course I saw. Of course I see Saw. Mose and I see Saw all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, unsurprising to probably yes. nobody listening to this. Lindsay and I have not seen Saw. <laughs> not seen, seen Saw. Um, so yeah, so basically. I don't get a lot of Carrie Elway's down in my life. Like he was in, I don't know, like Liar Liar. Yeah. And he's in the new Mission Impossible, which I was going to see probably yeah probably but... yeah 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 so i don't have a lot of care nice carry always in my life yeah so i'm glad for him to be back um okay next up romanticizing leaky cold castles and also the grouchy men who live in them but mostly the leaky cold castles i mean it seems romantic but i bet it's pretty not 20 yeah and that leaves us with 30 percent. 20 oh 20 percent. 30 percent no 20 percent 20%, yeah. yeah. That leaves us with 20% uh, planning trips to cozy country pubs. <laughs> yep, that's us. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Uh, what do you think is next for these crazy not kids? I don't know. Like, they did live together for three months. Yeah. So that gives me yeah. some hope that they would be okay for, at least there's that, that they can live yeah. together. Yeah. Um, he's obviously less grouchy now Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think Mm -hmm. yeah if they can figure out their stuff of like the income disparity like so Mm -hmm. he has like the title and the fanciness but she has the actual money and if he can figure out being okay with that i think they'll be good yeah i think so and there's like there's a lot of space in the castle and also outside exactly them too exactly just be and obviously like in the credits she's Mm -hmm back at the drew ray marshall show so she's written more books yeah she's well i feel like it's like travels and like, yeah a world her, famous author like travels a lot you yeah know, her daughter like, is promoting. in school in the states mm-hmm. so she would have gone there 
Mm -hmm. when necessary. Like, yeah, I feel yeah. like they have plenty of time to be away from each other if they need to. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I, I have hopes for them, you know. Me too. Good job. All right. And then mm -hmm. coming up for us. <gasps> more UK. Mm. Christmas time. Yes. More Americans going to the UK for Christmas also. Yeah. 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 Um, yes. Yeah, we're gonna watch the holiday. Ugh. Hooray! Everybody's. Yay. I feel like it's everybody's favorite Christmas movie, like which is a weird thing because I wouldn't actually list it as my favorite Christmas movie, but it's the one that every single person I know watches. Yeah, There's I think it's very about. much like our age. It's also like the yeah. the time that you're most attracted to Jack Black. But we'll get into yeah. that. Um, we will. <laughs> don't worry. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. yep. And then on our Patreon feed, it just came out, I think today as we're recording it, yeah. uh, was white Christmas. Oh my gosh. So yeah, mm -hmm. if you are thinking about becoming a patron, uh, we would love that, but yeah, you can get access to, uh, special episodes where they're like mm, dubiously rom-coms like white Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. And that was actually our November. Oh yeah. November that was our episode. November Patreon. Um, yeah. And so our, uh, oh, December is the month that mm -hmm. this it's coming out in uh will be coming out next week and it is holiday not to be confused with the holiday mm -hmm. and with carrie grant and Catherine hepburn just in case Yay. you're looking for more holiday feelings with attractive men because that's what we do here basically welcome. <laughs> welcome to the show <laughs> by um, year welcome talking to myself indeed indeed um, yeah yeah so yeah, that brings us to the end of this episode. Don't forget that you can rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. It will help lots of new people find the show, we hope. And you can also find us on social media. We're on Instagram and Facebook at Charts and Hearts. At Charts and Hearts Podcast we're on Instagram and Facebook. And we're at Charts and Hearts on Twitter. Or you can go to our website, chartsandhearts.com, where you can send us more suggestions for rom-coms because we are keeping a list, but we love adding to it. Um, and yeah, if you want to check out our Patreon, you can join us at patreon.com slash charts and hearts club, uh, slash charts and hearts club. Let us know your thoughts on this movie. Is Carrie Elway's Scottish accent decent or not? Is Robbie Williams Scottish? Where are the best inns to see dolphins that are in Scotland? <laughs> Tell us all of these things. Tell us all the things. You Indeed. know, right? Indeed. We, somebody might know. Um, <laughs> somebody yeah. must know. <laughs> and in the meantime, in the meantime, uh, you can't just run off to Scotland and hide in a castle. Yeah, no, or, I can. Or can you? <laughs> Maybe you can. I think so. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye.